Hi, today I'm going to be changing an upper wishbone on the Alpha 147. They are exactly the same as the Alpha GT and 156 and exactly the same on either side. They are pretty straightforward to change but there are a few difficulties with the upper wishbone being stuck, freeing off seized bolts and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to do them today. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video so please like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, to start I'm going to be removing the upper wishbone bolt and the anti-roll bar link bolt which is just there and there's also a bolt holding the wishbone on there I'm going to be undoing that you need a 19mm spanner and socket and wrench on that side 17mm on there and also a 17mm on there so let's get this uh, started Okay, now we're going to undo the lower wishbone bolt for the forks. Uh, you need a 19mm ratchet and a breaker bar, and you'll also need a 19mm spanner to stop it from spinning. Okay, you need a hammer and a punch now to hammer that bolt through. Okay, now easily. Okay, so now the suspension fork is now free to almost drop down and your upper wishbone is now free. What we need to do now is lower the car down under the four 17mm bolts, or I think the 17mm bolts on the top here, uh, and then this whole fork will come free to drop down and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, next step is to undo the four bolts on top of the suspension, four 17mm bolts. Get those undone. Just remember to take the washers off at the same time, because once you've undone all four, the suspension will drop a bit and it is prone for the, uh, the washer to drop out into uh, the abyss of the engine bay. You just want to support the suspension as well when you undo it. Sometimes it'll drop, sometimes it won't. Okay, so that's done there. Okay, let's get it back up in the air. Okay, what you need to do now is make sure that the suspension has gone down as low as it can. And then you should, with one hand, be able to lift the mount and the wishbone off top of the shocker. I'm going to put the phone back on the mount now so I can do it with two hands. Just pull the wishbone down and that will give you a little bit more room to twist it out. And there we go, that's your one wishbone and the mount on top. So let's get that changed. Okay, here we have the new wishbone along with the old wishbone. As you can see, there's loads of play and loads of slop in that, and also the uh, the dust cover is perished. And this one, nice and tight, and you can't uh, move that very easily with your hand. So now I'm going to swap them over. Side by side on the bench is the best way to do it, because the bolt does go in a certain way, and you've got a certain washer, and you also need to grease everything before you put it back in. So let's get this undone. If your wishbone is worn out for too long, you can wear the inner sleeve on here out and then that must mean you need to replace the whole top amount. They're about £30 used, but this one is perfectly fine. So before you put the new wishbone in, I've put plenty of copper slip on the bolt. I also do here, here and 
in here as well because the mount can a lot of the time when it's been on there for years stick to the uh, upper suspension and it's very difficult to get off and this just sort of makes it a lot easier as well let's everything move freely when you put it back together Now you're not going to want to do this fully tight at the minute because you are going to want to manipulate it into place inside the car. Just make sure you tighten it up once you've put everything back together. Okay, now we're going to put the wishbone back in. What you need to do is just hold it down, slide it over the top. Okay, what I'm going to do now is put the four nuts back on the top of the suspension. What you need to do with one hand, hold it up, push it through the holes, and then put all four nuts on while you're holding it, and then tighten it up afterwards. And don't forget to put the washers back on as well. Okay, now we just need to put everything uh, underneath the wheel arch back on. Just remember we're only doing things loose at the moment. I'm just dropping everything on the floor. Okay, now we want the long bolt back through. Two washers and the nuts on the end. And now we just need to do the bottom bolt and then tighten up the upper wishbone. Okay, there you go. Again, fairly simple job. You can run into some difficulties with this upper mount seizing into the shock absorber. Uh, if that does happen and you can't get it out while it's under the car, you are going to have to strip the hub off to get the suspension shocker out so you can do it on a bench. A little bit of WD-40, a few taps with some chisels and it'll normally free off. And that's why I say it's very important to use some grease before you put it back together. I normally use copper slip. It seems to last longer than any other grease. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.